Hello there, Dan the Weatherman here. Hey, welcome to my weather show. This is where we take a look at the weather for New Zealand for the week. An interesting week, of course, you know what happened last week. All that tropical moisture, we've seen all the flooding on the west coast. And once again this week, the tropics, the big zone there with all the cloud bubbling up, are very active. That is the source of moisture, but at the same time in the atmosphere, we've got lots of things that are just getting in the way, brick walls or blocks as we call it. This is close in, you can see New Zealand here, Australia, yellow are the bits of cloud, the higher colder cloud tops, and I put on the streamlines too so you can see what's going on. Two things to watch out. Of course, last week we had the feed, two feeds coming from the tropics. One big circle there, one big circle there. Those are areas of high pressure, higher up in the atmosphere, big mountains of warm air. That is blocking this stream of moisture, this frontal system, from moving through. And it's just been sitting there to the northeast of the country. It's going to sit there again this week. But the zone of wet that was across the west of the South Island has at least moved to central New Zealand, but it's still sitting and kind of stuck. This piece won't move. So you've got one high squeezing, the other one squeezing. All the while, some spots get a good dose of some rain, and that's what happens this week. But I think further south, as high pressure settles in, you are much, much quieter. Notice the far south of the country, southwest flow, and otherwise just uh, looking at some scattered uh, cloud. Now, looking at this, this is throwing on some colors, so what are you doing? Well, remember the low, this is the depth of warm air in the atmosphere. As you talk about warm air, one of the things we've seen over this course of the summer is warm air coming out of the tropics. Australia here, New Zealand here. So with a low spinning, you've got warm air, so that acts as the brick wall, stops weather systems from moving through. That is sitting to the north and east of New Zealand. So that's causing lots of problems. Like when you go to the supermarket and you put your things on the old conveyor, one at a time is normal, but this week it's like two, and then it goes backwards. That's exactly what's happening. Our weather, it's stuck. Let's go through the next several days, and this is a bit weird, but that's the low. The red is quiet weather or high pressure. Remember our big blob of high pressure there? Another one there. Look to the tropics and follow those areas of blue. As we run through the week, high pressure, or rather the low, just sits there. It starts to feed out some blue. Look at that big circle. It just sits there, meaning this system can't come through. A little zone of blue is some wetter weather spreading down across the west of the country through Wednesday, through Thursday and Friday. Then we go into a westerly flow, but we still have that big block to the northeast. So the weather is going to be kind of similar this week. This is what happens. High pressure, high pressure, zone of wet still there. So Waitangi Day is going to be a wet one across parts of the North Island. Some heavy rain, Bay of Plenty, eastern parts of, say, uh, Gisborne, right the way down to Hawke's Bay. Much of the far south, the day is okay from, say, the likes of Dunedin in towards central Otago, you're okay. Flow from the south and west means you're going to get some scattered cloud. Temperatures perhaps 15 to 18, 19 to the far south. Humid air still across the north, still probably middle 20s, places like Auckland, Tauranga. <sighs> Spells of rain, a bit kind of yucky and Waitangi, for instance raincoat sort of weather with that wet weather. This zone can't move through. Remember the block? So all it can do is stretch and pull away. That's why the rain looks a bit more moth-eaten through Tuesday. Spells of rain or showers to the far north. High building in, that low actually starts drifting this way. Put your eyes to the tropics. We get another feed of moisture from the tropics. That's a tropical low, could briefly develop into a cyclone, but more likely it's just going to be a zone of some moisture that comes into the flow. Wednesday, the high is coming in, but it can't go too far. A few showers across parts of the North Island, but Wednesday is an improving day for many. You just start to see the wet weather coming back into the west of the South Island, which of course, after the wet weather from last week, we don't really need any more, and unfortunately, that is going back to the tropics. Temperatures still cool to the far south, places like Dunedin, you'll just have a fine looking day, but we'll increase the cloud by the end of the day. And I think at night, say Dunedin, Queenstown, you will pick up some wet weather from the system creeping in. Everywhere else, one or two showers, easterly flow, perhaps some spots in eastern areas, that bit cooler. Thursday, that zone of wet weather comes in, it's hitting the west coast. They could see another 50 to 100 millimeters or more over the course of the week. I'll show you the rainfall in a second. There's your zone of wet weather moving through. So the far south gets some wet weather, probably early Thursday. Much of the far north is pretty much similar. You go back into that nagging nor'easter, a few showers, Bay of Plenty, maybe to Auckland. And then for Friday, 
We've still got the big zone of high pressure sitting there. This is maybe that tropical low, perhaps the next cyclone that comes down the flow, high pressure. Doesn't it look the same? It is, because that's blocking everything from moving through. Area of wet weather, few showers to the far south, but it's more likely central New Zealand, which for Friday, could be seeing that wet weather. And don't be surprised, that could move. The low that was here moves through. So it could be a wet weekend the further north you are going into next weekend down south, all the likes of the far south. It'll be cooler, but at least it should be dry. And in the meantime, we will have had a nice warm up to some interior spots towards the far south. Look at this, like we've had some crayon and go like that. Wherever you see the purple, that's New Zealand that's over 100 millimeters so that could be the zone from that tropical moisture coming in through the west coast this is over the entire week that could be some significant rain again and you can see where that is parts of Buller, unfortunately parts of nelson spots in the north island will get it the far south probably fjord and staying the driest with this week maybe only five or ten so that will be something we will have to watch and again with the high sitting there it keeps the weather pretty stuck but a lot of tropical moisture, once again, could make it wet for some of us this week as well. That's how it's looking. See you guys again soon. Bye-bye.